Most of us would agree that technology has become an even bigger part of our lives, particularly over this past year. And many things related to that are very good. Uh, for many of us, it's actually become our lifeline to the outside world. But what happens when a good thing becomes too much? Is there a price to pay for too much screen use? Is too much a sign of a greater problem within ourselves? Well, we've seen a trend among those who spend a lot of time on screens, particularly on social media. It's moved from being a means to an end to now, for many people, it is the end itself. Where we may have previously engaged on social media just to stay connected in between maybe our face-to-face -face visits with people, now it has become our primary source of social interaction. I'm not talking about those facing quarantine due to illness concerns. I'm talking about when we reorganize our life around exclusively utilizing technology to be our source of connection. In essence, it's a, it's a type of self-isolation. But when does our screen time cross the line to becoming unhealthy or even an addiction? The main way we can evaluate it is to ask how do we feel when it is not available to us? What does it look like when your phone is not in your hand? Are you okay with that? Do you feel anxious? Do you feel lost or maybe sort of out of sync? This can point to something deeper like using technology maybe to numb ourselves because of the stress or chaos going on in our lives from difficult circumstances. Or maybe it's a way of escape just like alcohol or some other substance might be for us. And I think it starts with an honest evaluation of screen time in terms of quantity and quality. You know, we all only have 24 hours of, in our day. And if our time on screens has increased, then where is that time coming from? It has to come from somewhere. So where did it come from? What have you gradually lost interest in that now this extra time on screens has taken the place of? Or maybe you've actually quit something altogether that you used to do. Maybe something that was a hobby or connecting with other uh, friends or family members and you're not doing that now. And for those of us with children or maybe grandchildren, we know the harmful effects of too much screen time on them. If you don't, just Google it. There's so many studies revealing that. We can't lead them where we are not willing to go ourselves. And if we don't want them addicted, and if we don't want them to struggle with these things, then it must start with us. So here's some tips to consider. As much as possible, um, try not to have any screen time an hour before bed. I know that's hard, that doesn't always work, but um, trying to limit that and cut that out that hour before you actually try to go to sleep. And put boundaries on your time when you're on um, your phone. Only after you've completed your daily tasks or um, maybe after your quiet time with the Lord or your chores or whatever that looks like for you. But set a timer, have a plan on the front side of how much time you're gonna spend. Um, and you know, when we have a plan, when we choose maybe less time on our phones, we have to have a plan for what we're gonna fill our time with. Because if we don't have a plan, then we're gonna probably jump right back onto it. Another thing I encourage you is to consider using screens only in specific areas, not behind closed doors, especially for children. Um, in public areas, maybe your living room or the kitchen or someplace where everybody is. I'd also encourage you to evaluate your follow list. Who are you following? And we need to use some discernment here, but where do you need to tighten a boundary? Or maybe where do you need to quit following someone? And we can also consider changing our motive or changing our goal. Ask the Lord to show you someone, show you a person that you could actually use social media to reach out to. Reach out to them, encourage them, and take your focus off yourself and focus on someone else. And we can also use it to be a digital missionary, we like to call it around here. Share some scriptures, use that platform of your own social media um, to share sermons, share invites to church, 
um, you know, invite people to join in online, comment on people's posts. Maybe it's somebody that you haven't connected with, but you sense they're really going through a struggle. Comment on their post. Tell them you're praying. Type out a prayer right then and there. Or maybe you ask them to coffee, and um, or maybe you call them and you reconnect with them. Let's use social media, let's use our phones, let's use technology to build up and not tear down, to disciple and not to debate, and for our good and for His glory.